Now in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you a photo peer tutorial. For those who don't know, this is Photoshop's free online alternative that anyone can pretty much use. You can use this on your computer, you can use this on your phone. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use this to make designs for your print on demand shops, whether that's Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, Etsy, whichever site you use. If you're ready for that, please do drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's jump into this. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops. For anyone who's new around here, if you haven't, please do click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells. That way you won't miss out on any of my future videos and you won't miss out on any information that could help you to get some sales online. And down in the description, I have a free print on demand starter guide that features a lot of the information that I use to get my first online sales through sites like Redbubble as well as a paid step-by-step -step guide for anyone that's looking to turn this into more of a full-time thing and like I said today we have a photo peer tutorial for you guys I'm going to put a link down in the description for you guys if you want to follow along after you've watched this video and as for this video I'm going to try to recreate two designs that I came across on Redbubble just to better explain to you guys how photo peer actually works. And I'm realizing I keep calling it photo peer, but it might also be pronounced photo P. I'm not too sure. But yeah, as for the designs, I'm gonna try to recreate this one that says addicted to London. And also I'll try to recreate this one here that says dogs, books, and coffee. So guys, actually jumping onto photo peer, this is what it looks like. So like I said, it's completely free to use. And I take it this is mainly due to the fact that they do actually put ads on this that's why it's free to use but it's a pretty fair trade-off if you ask me nevertheless jumping into this first thing you're going to want to do is click on new project and once you do that you want to set dimensions now i'm going to go with dimensions that can be used on any print on demand site and they're the merch by amazon dimensions so you want to go with 4500 by 5400 so i'll quickly add that in here and where it says DPI, this is, represents the quality of your design. So if you want it to look better, a little bit more clearer, you can go all the way up to 300 DPI or even 150 is okay. But for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna leave it at 72 as we're focusing on how to actually create designs. So once this is set, you name it if you want, I'll call it MBA, and then you click on create. As soon as you do that, you will get a canvas that looks like this. Next step is to put something onto this canvas. At this stage, you just wanna quickly double tap on the background to make sure it's unlocked. So there's a little lock there, you click that. And then once the background's unlocked, if you wanted to put text on here, you could do. And just a reminder, the first design we're gonna be making is the one that said addicted to London. Now, remember we're trying to create this in our own way. So I'm gonna to try to change it up a little bit. So jumping into it, the first thing you'd want to do is to create the text. So I'm just gonna click on text. And once you've done that, right at the top corner here, you will see an option for fonts. So let's see if we can find something that stands out a little bit. So I'm gonna go with this font right here that says trade wins. So I'm just gonna select that. Once you have your font selected, you just want to click on the canvas so you can actually type in. Uh, sometimes the text shows out really small. So as you can see, it's 24 pixels. You can always drag that up or you can just type in a larger number there to increase the size. So I'll just type in addicted to start us off with. Addicted, just like that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase the size once more. I feel 150 pixels is too small, which is apparently the maximum you can drag it up to there. But so I'll type in, let's say 500 pixels. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And then obviously, once you have your text added here, uh, the example we had before, the addicted text was arched. So on photo peer, you just wanna click on warp and then you see where it says style, it will say none selected. You want to just select the arched style and you can play around with the bend if you want. So you can make it really bent, not so bent. Yeah, you can do a lot of things with this. So I'm gonna put it somewhere here in the middle sort of thing. Once that's done, you just click okay. 
and then you can move your text where you want it to be put and i just remembered it said addicted to not just addicted so we'll put addicted to and then we'll drag it somewhat here in the middle and then once this is done you then want to put an image here so i'll just quickly go and get an image for this quickly jumped onto vexel so i'll just type in london here and i'll uh, see if we can get any png images of london that we can add in here uh, so yeah taxis cool london i let's see if we can find something with a little more to it so yeah this looks pretty cool i think i'll be able to work with something like this so i'll just click on this and then i'll just download it so we want a png so that's quickly just going to get downloaded for us now if you have images that you're ready to add on to this you can literally drag them on which is what i'm about to do now so this is the image i've just downloaded i've literally just dragged it on to this so i'm just going to increase the size of it a little bit and put it on just like this as you can see i don't have to add any additional text to put at the bottom here all i'm going to do just to pretty much complete the design is to click on the text so i'll double click i'll go on color overlay when you click color overlay you can click into the color box and then select an outside color so i'm just going to pick this color should we go with the dark one i'll pick the darker color up there so and then click ok and then as you can see we have a design that pretty much looks pretty cool it looks like it was meant to be up there i mean it curves over the top of it and obviously you've got the view of london in there with some nice text and this is something that could easily be put into the niche of addicted to london and that could potentially get sales i mean this would look nice on a t-shirt it also looked nice on other products the final thing obviously if you're creating designs through photo p you just want to take off the background and then you want to go on file and then export as png and then when you export it as a png it would let you choose obviously how you want the quality to be so you make sure that the format is correct png the size is correct and then you just click save and then it downloads it and then yeah once this is downloaded this is something you could upload to merch by amazon redbubble whatever other print on demand sites you guys use now taking us on to the next design which actually said dogs books and coffee we jump back onto photo p this time i'm going to double click on the background change the color overlay to black so you just click on the color box click black and i'm doing this because this is a design that i personally feel will look better on a black background this is obviously something we're going to remove at the end so we want to add in the text so the first bit of text said dogs so we're just going to quickly add in dogs in there so type in you can't see the text because it's in black let me just make sure it's capital and then we'll change the color so dogs we want to make sure that we can actually see that on the background that we're on so dogs it's in white and then we want books and then coffee thinking should i go with a different font right okay now let's just change it up so i'm going to go with trash hand yeah that looks a little bit more interesting and i think it'll work better with what i'm thinking to do with this design so i'm just going to increase the size of the text so it says dogs and we'll put it somewhat here close to the middle what i'll then do in this instance in what i'll then do here instead of having to retype this you click on control and then j if you're on a mac command and then j and then you can literally copy the layer and if you hold shift you can drag that down and it will still be fairly straight and then i'll click on text once more and then change this text to books so books and i'll change the last bit so that it says and coffee so we'll just do the same thing again duplicate pull it a little bit further down and then we'll put and coffee so i'm going to slightly decrease the size of this what you can do is hold down either control or command and then select all the bits of text once you've done that we can actually bring down the size of everything together so i usually aim for everything to still pretty much fill out most of the image mainly because with designs print on demand designs especially you want them to stand out as much as possible on the design so we'll make this a little bit more smaller 
because I'm thinking of adding some images in there. So we could potentially just leave it like this, but I want a nice little image to go next to each of these words, preferably a silhouetted image. So it's something that doesn't have too much color on that. So yeah, let's quickly jump back to Vexels. So I'm just gonna search dog for, and then we'll search for PNG images. I think this looks pretty cool. We'll go with that. Doesn't matter that it's pink as we're going to change it. So it looks white anyways. So I'll download that. And then I'll go back to the main page. We'll put in book. Search PNG. This would work. So I'm going to click on that. Download. So that's downloading. And then I'm going to search coffee now. I might change the dog paw depending on which style of coffee design I find here. Uh, so search by PNGs. But yeah, we can go with this one. Looks fairly simple. PNG. Download that. And then once they're all downloaded, I'll do the same thing as before. I'm literally just going to drag them on to photo p so yeah you don't even have to import them in you just find the images on your computer and just drag them on right guys so yeah i've dragged everything on it's not quite in order as of yet i'm just going to do one more thing what i like to do when i implement in images that i want to kind of work together in terms of the color i'll drag them on and then i'll select them by holding control making sure they're all selected and i like to put them into a folder uh, so i'll just name the folder images what i then do to the folder i double click and then set a color on that folder so i'm going to set the color to white so then everything pretty much turns white and i don't have to change the color of everything individually now what i'm going to do i'm going to just place everything where it should be box is in the right place coffee and uh, the dog paw are in two different places so i'm going to click on cup of coffee We'll put it here. I will make this smaller so everything fits properly. Then we're gonna put the paw here and then I'm gonna select everything. Once again, you just hold control and then select everything you want to select. And you can hold shift to allow everything to stay pretty much the same size. Then I'll move this somewhat to the center. I always try to get it as big as possible while still being able to fit it somewhat in the middle because I need this design to fill up as much space as possible. And just like that, we've got our own remake of dogs, books, and coffee. Let's say if you also want to upload this as a sticker on Redbubble, what you then do on top of everything you've done so far is to add a stroke around it. So if I was to take the background off it, you can see it's white. So on white products, this wouldn't look good. So simple fix to that. Once you have everything selected, you just put everything in a folder. I'll call the folder all uh, you just double click on that folder and then once you do that you want to click on stroke and we'll make the stroke black and then click OK and we'll increase the size of that stroke I'll just take my face off for a second so you guys can actually see what I'm doing so I've got the stroke to 44 pixels and then I'll just click OK. And if you wanted to then upload this as a sticker on Redbubble, you could actually upload this as an alternative image and just make sure to make sure it appears like this only on stickers. That way you're having the ability to put it on products like T-shirts and then also other products like stickers or white mugs, especially if you're more focused on creating designs for Redbubble. And once this is done, like before you just got on file, export as png and it's the same process as before and you can just double check everything's okay and then save it and as you'll see it will download it immediately so yeah guys as you can see photo p is very very easy to use if you have any other tutorials you want to see me cover through photo p let me know 
down in the comment section i've actually got some templates that you guys can download to create designs for so i've got a sticker pack template i also have five best-selling design templates and all of those templates for those that don't have photoshop you can actually open them through photop.com and edit them through this in the exact same way that you saw me do it in this video the days of not being able to use things that photoshop because you can't afford them are over photopeer has taken over the show so jump onto that follow this tutorial if you need to rewatch it rewatch it if you made it this far into this video down in the comment section comment down online artist and i'll try to respond to as many of you guys as possible and always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success